Hey, this is Charlie. Today I'm going to talk to you about what is the best rhythm to have sexual intercourse. Stay tuned for this awesome video. Today we're talking about the best rhythm to have sex. I have this question asked by John. He asked me, hey Charlie, what is the best way, what is the best rhythm to have sex? Should I do it strong? Should I do it slow? What is the best way? And really there is not the best way. There's not the best rhythm to have sex. Actually, all rhythms are good to have sex. What I encourage everybody to do is to actually try different rhythms. Try different ways to have sex and see uh, which one is the best that you like, which one is the best that she likes. Actually, the best way is to mix them. I recommend you to do a mixing of them. Um, there's one thing that women love, and we all love, not only women, but also men. It's not knowing what's going to happen next, not knowing what's coming up. So if you change rhythms, uh, it's going to be really exciting for her, and it's actually big, it's going to be a lot more exciting for you as well, because you don't have to be always doing the same thing. And you can actually try new things depending on the position. There's positions where you can actually go harder or stronger. There's positions that, that actually ask for a slower type of sex or slower type of thrusting. So mix them all. And, and, and there's not a better way uh, to or a better rhythm uh, to do it. I uh, Normally, it's a lot better to start slow. This is a hi highly recommended thing to do because if you start very strong, actually, woman might not be totally lubricated and, uh, and it, it, she, she will need maybe a little more time. So when you do it slow, she's going to start lubricating slowly and it's going to be much better than when you go harder. Uh, if you're going to go harder, uh, she needs to be very well lubricated. You can also use loops or anything, but... But that's the way it is. There's one thing that I always recommend, and that's something that I have tried and I've seen it really works very, very well. And that's uh, doing uh, longer strokes for a while and then doing a few short ones. Maybe do a, a sequence of six deeper, longer strokes and then do two short ones. That means that you don't introduce the whole penis inside. It's actually something that women like a lot. And uh, it's a way to touch the G-spot also when you do these shorter strokes. And she's, it, for her, it's something different. And, and, and surprising is the best thing you can actually do. So she's going to be, you're doing long, long, and suddenly you do two short ones. And she, she's going to go, oh, and I love that. And then go deeper again and then short. And you can change rhythms while you do this. Then you can do it very slow at the beginning and then start to do it faster. And um, that's going to give her different sensations, different sensations, different ways of uh, having uh, sex, different spots you can actually start touching when you're doing this. And, and that's the best way. As I said, there's not a right way to do it or a wrong way to do it. Uh, also, the situation may ask for something like, a, like if you're doing like a quickie, like something that just on the, on the moment, on the spot, normally you do it quite fast. And that's okay, that's fine, because maybe you get excited for whatever reason and, and she wants it and you want it and it's like, whoa, five minutes, we're gone. If you're doing sex in a slow uh, day, you're in a sudden Sunday afternoon, you, you just lay in there and start having sex without even wanting it or even thinking about it, you probably start very really slow and everything is different there, okay? So there's not a right way or wrong way. There's one really thing that I have to tell you guys if a woman, when you're having sex, you do these different rhythms and see what, what, what she likes best or whatever. If a woman tells you, keep going, you keep going. You keep going on that rhythm and on that depth. Because that means that she probably is, uh, that's something that you can talk between you, you, uh, you, yourselves. But that's probably, she's, gonna, she's about to have an orgasm. And, and there's nothing worse than actually stopping at that time. If you guys, if, you, if you're struggling with, with, with uh, fit, fitness and, and you feel like you're not going to be able to hold it for, for long, make sure you breathe deep and make a constant breathing uh, so that you actually don't lose it. Because uh, sometimes we get excited, like if, if she says, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, we get very excited, we get overexcited and we, we want to keep going. And what we do, we start probably go faster. If she says, keep going 
on that rhythm, talk to her, tell her, hey, if you want that rhythm, tell me this phrase, and I'll keep on that rhythm steady, steady, and you don't don't get over excited. Make sure you concentrate on your breathing, uh, that you all don't get over excited, and you maintain that rhythm because that's very very important, especially if she's gonna have an orgasm. So that's something that that tip I wanted to give you because that's something that many people what have happened to me before that I'm having sex and and she says okay go 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 and and then you what you do is you accelerate and you go faster and and she loses it. You just keep that same rhythm steady, that same depth, and uh, make sure you breathe, make sure you get overexcited uh, with that situation, okay? So again, make sure you do a good rhythm when you have sex, enjoy your sex life, make sure you subscribe to my channel to get more videos like these, make sure you visit my website right here for more information about sex, and I will see you in the next video, bye.